Hello guys and welcome back to Play of the J. So we are going to continue onwards with our Battle Arena scrims for tonight guys. So we watched two rounds just now and uh, we're about to get stuck into round number three. So we're back for Erangel and the last round of the evening will be on Miramar. So really looking forward to this one. So far the team that's been looking the strongest so far has been Gang FTY. They did manage to get chicken dinner in round number one. Round number two they also uh, managed to get um, not quite chicken dinner but they got second place after it was a very tense three on three uh situation there together with the the players as currently that i think there was a, a three-way fight right at the end between something boogie mom and gang fty but boogie mom dying and then it was left to a two on three then um something was able to get one of their players up in that very tense situation so a nice little boon for them as uh, they managed to stay alive towards uh, the end there but it was uh, very interesting we did see we, we have 23 teams guys so it was do we still have 23 okay maybe we're down to oh no sorry we're, we're still at 23 so 23 teams quite crazy right so Again, it's, uh, it's just a scrim, so it's just for fun, you know, so... And, uh, of course, some of the teams who do want to be more serious here can be, so... Let's get stuck in for round number three, guys. Alright, so we're gonna have the plane going all the way from Primorsk, all the way up towards, uh, Severny, and, uh see how these teams actually want to be dropping here uh primorsk is definitely a possible spot we're probably going to see a few teams go to the military island as well as um there are quite a few who like that uh, looks like some teams dropping out a little bit later here i think they realized no one was dropping for the primorsk area and we're going to be seeing the players from teaming queen uh dropping out to try and take advantage of that situation now will mean that uh, we will be seeing um, some other teams dropping out a little bit later on. Silver Wolves, one of those in the southern Gekka region, while around the Fairy Pier side, that's going to be the Minnow Copy Chop guys. And uh, in between them, they do have the team members here from Golden Army Factory at the moment. Um, so we're seeing Revo here dropping towards south of Pachinki. No team going for Pachinki itself. And now we're going to be seeing the team members here from... Um, the Baduks Kaki Langer actually uh, going towards uh, South George together with Team 23. So, could be a little bit interesting here. Uh, but actually, they do have... Um, sorry, there's three teams here. There's actually Team Crayon here. Sorry, the color for t Squad 13 and Squad 22 here is a little bit too similar. Red Sea going for their usual place in Rosa. Well, we see Awful Squad here in the school area sharing it with Potato Squad as well as... Uh, Lousy as well. And Dara J Bat here taking a lot of hits for Lousy from John C Nobody and John C's everybody team. And uh I'm not sure what he could do here. He's just gonna hide for dear life for the time being. And we see Cactus here already securing a vehicle. But it looks like uh Parapai gonna take a lot of long range shots from Zoraco, but not able to connect with that. And looks like Pattern a lot able to get his uh kill onto Patter Hunter Screw actually. So, nice little pickup for them. Looked like Parapai going down here. And uh, Apartment Block has got four different teams here. And, uh... No, that's that's a lie here. We still got two of the players here for GIF Alpha still alive here. We can still have 23 teams. It's, uh... I don't know, guys. Since the, the last update, I've been seeing all the team numbers here just not showing in spectator view. Um, we've also seen that uh, the, the team eliminated here doesn't also show correctly uh, exactly which team has gone out where. So again, something which I'm not too happy about, but hopefully they will fix that with the coming um, patch here. And uh, looks like Asiram going to be able to knock down Vinky here and uh, claim uh, a second kill most likely here. As uh, currently unsteadies here is a little bit too far away here. I'm not sure what he can do to, to help in this situation. But now looking at things uh, all the way here into uh, the apartment buildings here. It is going to be very much uh, some of these other teams here all mixing it up. We've got Awful Squad here in this um, bottom left corner. we got Ye's uh, 
uh, for John sees everybody and we got the three members here from potato squad as well uh, well we do have Harley Queen here for lousy and still got uh, another player for uh, awful squad Don Pablo hanging out on the eastern side now gang FTY looks like they're gonna have a 2-2 split here Mumparang and Dan Kirk gonna hang around just outside the zone for the time being well we get Allens and M0 trying to go to some other faraway buildings here see whether or not that they can actually get some good loot here but they're actually going towards mansion right now and uh little day no someone else had the same idea here so that's going to be a little bit dicey whereas uh here in yasnaya we do see up looks all the way over here in the apartment complex where we have all the team members here from lemon 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 so that could be a little bit of a tricky situation but now it looks like red sea actually advancing onto the two players here from gif alpha and it looks like mr pa here already down for the time being here and uh now we see nrl gonna come around the side here and see whether or not he can catch the shots. He's able to catch out um, 28 SK here. And it looks like Cerabic's girl here. Gonna be the last player left here. And gonna throw up some shots onto NRL. Able to take him out. And it uh, looks like Haha Goose gonna go around there as he tries to finish him off. And uh, looks like Haha Goose gets finished himself. Now Pokoyo gonna see whether he can finish it. But it looks like Cerabic's girl gonna run into the smoke here at the right time. And uh, looks like it's gonna be a... <laughs> Wow, Cervix Gill able to really come out with it there and knocking down uh, two of the players and eliminating one. Now eliminating two and, and uh, it's gone horribly wrong for Red Sea here in round number three. As uh, currently they are only with one man left alive here, Rain Zera on the high ground coming down a little bit. But it looks like Mr. Pa should be resible here um, as currently they are taking the cover. But that Northwestern Circle is going to be awkward for a lot of these teams all the way over here. But it looks like Aplux getting found out here in Yasnaya. And um, not much his teammates can do but that Quacker just going to be all the way in that Southwestern side here. Whereas uh, we do have uh, three members here from... But they actually did lose uh, Sepu Jur here, so it looks like Apux is going to be able to take that one at least from them um, and trade out a little bit there. But both of these teams would rather prefer having their, their full squad available to them. But, uh, you know, you got to do with uh, make do with what you got. So in any case, we see BAE moving in very early here from Severni. Now, they're going to try and secure a, a very central spot. It looks like Rain Zera here getting caught out by Cerebix Girl. So Cerebix Girl... Getting four kills on the board here, so quite a good early start there. Except for the fact that they did lose um, 28 SK. and uh, But yes, a nice little pickup for them in these uh, early stages of the game. We see Quacker here. No, sorry, Minam Kopi Jab moving up here. Rosox D here taking his time a little bit. We see Esco Rex, Afam, Fleo Flux, as well as uh, Blade here for Lang Kaki Langer. Uh, Beduk currently trying to go a little bit more central here, going around the mountain for the time being here. Well, they try and l fix on a spot here. Now, if they do take this compound here, it might actually uh, be a little bit uh, of a good position here to try and catch out a lot of these team members uh, who are going to be um, possibly rotating through this zone as well. Um, but yes, BAE looks like they're going to settle for coming down a little bit further here, closer to the road here, see whether or not they can catch a lot of these teams in rotation if they decide to go towards the North George side. Currently, there's only going to be Insane Floyd there as uh, he tries to manage the situation as best he can. But, oh, looks like Gangs and Supak Choi here going to town here as they managed to take out all the players here from Potato Squad and now looks like they should be uh, being able to reap the benefits here after they're able to still maintain three of their players alive here. So a nice boost for them as uh, now everyone is well on their way inside the zone. We got Resurgence coming around Yasnaya at the moment. And um, we see the others here. It looks like uh, Fleoflux and the rest of um, Bedok Kakilanga are actually making their way over here. But they do actually have uh, the players from um, Minokopi Jap here just trying to light up a nice shot from the high ground here. Which uh, currently Afam is a little bit unaware as to exact location of K-Bytes and the rest of Minokopi you know, Jap. So he's just going to hang out for the time being here and see what he can do from this range. But now it looks like uh, there is going to be some other movement going through here. Uh, Filiar Flux finally able to meet up with the rest of the squad. So just going to make do with the current situation. And it uh, does look like... Um, 
some of the other teams here just not moving just yet. We still see Gang FTY and the team members of uh, something currently not moving in. Now, it'll be interesting if they renew that rivalry that they have um, at this present moment in time, but currently doesn't look like it's going to happen. But now we have rotation coming in from Silver Wolves from South George to North, and um, it's going to catch Afam's attention just a little bit here, but not his bullets for the time being. But uh, still going to keep onwards with this situation. See whether or not he can catch any of these teams uh, outside in their rotation. But now it looks like uh, Cracker here trying to rotate in from Yasnaya. But they are going to be taking a slightly longer route here. Missionary won't be able to catch out here. But now it looks like so BAE has some long range shots uh, uh, set on towards the, the rotation coming in from uh, Team Crayon. Not able to get any down there in that situation. So... A little bit unfortunate and um, we will be seeing that actually a lot of teams coming in here golden army factory no sorry this is not uh this is team 21 uzi.co moving in from the salver side for the time being and uh we also have from the south side it's got to be actually golden army factory but they do actually have the players here from uh two of the players here from silver wolves also rotating but won't be able to catch him out just yet but Sly DD going to be the last player moving forward for Silver Wolves here. Going to attract a little bit of damage here, but for the most part, it's going to be okay. And now we see that there's going to be this boat rotation coming in here. It's uh, sick here. Going to try and get out, but looks like Joku and Vibrant here actually start uh, drowning here. As now KMF1 trying to navigate through this uh, uh, position at the moment here. And looks like... Uh, Fiverr in here, going to be taken down here. I don't think that there's going to be any respite coming in the form of six um, help here. So see how that part is going to be working out. But yeah, looking at things, guys, most of the teams have managed to actually get inside the zone for now. But it looks like Gang FTY currently going to be all on their own over here. Well, not on their own. They have. The rest of the team members from something hot on their heels at the moment here after they're trying to rotate it rotate in from from the eastern side but in any case uh looking at how things are things are getting a little bit congested now in the center of the circle now we actually see the team members from kaki kaki langar and uh yeah kaki langar as well as uh, minu kopi Jap all joined together here and uh, Minon Kopi Jap had a little bit spread here. They do have a 2 2 split at, for the time being here. As Rosalux D is trying to get the, the nade here on point. And it uh, looks like uh, the nade is good onto Blade. And that's going to be the ghost sign. They're going to rush in here and see what kind of damage they, they can do. But um, there are going to be uh, Fleoflux and Escorbex who are currently a little bit further north here and uh, should be in a little bit of a decent position but looks like Rosalux D gonna get caught out here and it looks like Appa I'm really going to town here after he's able to hold off that push um, and he's gonna be able to get the res as well onto Blade so nice little play from him um, but yeah in any case guys uh, whoa the circle has not been kind to a lot of these teams it's gone all the way to the northwestern side and uh, that should be a little tricky for them uh, to actually rotate in there. But looks like Batman and the rest of BAE here, after having uh, rotated um, to the center of that circle, are going to be the first ones to rotate again here. Now everyone is making their moves here. Resurgence, Gang FTY. Gang FTY going to get in there soon here. And it looks like um, Team Crayon here also moving in. Cold Blood and the rest of uh, Teaming Queen also moving in from the water, it seems. Dreams left all by himself here. Won't be able to get any more help coming in that form. And Asgorvast going to try and see whether or not he can catch any more of the players rotating here from Minon Kopi Chap. So not going to be too successful in that sense. But now everyone is moving all the way forward here as they try and get a good spot here into the zone. But uh, looks like here all the way on this eastern side, it's still going to be Cracker. They've been here for what seems like forever and uh, they're gonna be have to move through all these teams just to get inside the zone so uh, not sure how they're gonna be able to come out with that one but yeah they're gonna try their best here uh, but yeah in any case oh it looks like uh, we got some shots going onto the players from Buggy Mom here they only have uh, 
one vehicle between them and they ran right past the Silver Wolves team here. But they will move further upwards to the wars of the north here. But now it looks like the player K bites here for Minon Kopi Jump trying to reserve this spot here. But they has the whole four man squad here from BAE to try or rather to finish him off there. It looks like they get onto the kill charts there. And now it looks like um, we have other players here in a little bit of trouble. Awful squad, Don Pablo and Gangs here going down there facing off against the two the players here from Quack Jr. And not much that they can do there. They're going to be finished off. And it looks like Siu Pak Choi going to be the last player left alive there to try and hang out with it. And uh, now it looks like Quacker able to finish off uh, Lemon here. As uh, that's going to be it for for them in this round number three, guys. They go out in 21st position. So, yeah, we did start with 23 teams. So, uh, a little bit more interesting than your standard scrim here. Uh, but, again, um, doesn't mean that they're going to last any much longer here if anything is going to be more action-packed and uh, we all like that a little bit more um but yes uh looks like uh, zarki here not going to be occupied for the time being but we do have um uh, towards that eastern side actually is still going to be that compound fully occupied by bae now they have uh to the south of their position they also have the players from um team crayon for the time being uh, they're going to make life a little bit more precarious for them but um, now looking at this uh, we see that there's still some teams outside the zone at the moment it looks like gang FTY have positioned themselves here all the way here into the north and uh, now looking at uh, this uh, um, team crayon while in the center of the circle they're in a little bit of a difficult position here but now looks like um, John sees everybody here advancing here onto the position occupied by uh, Silver Wolves and uh, looks like uh, Hakawaksai is Kawaksi, whatever his name is pronounced, is uh, able to be res here. Looks like John C. Nobody reduced to very little HP in that instance. And now most of the teams are in here, but uh, we still have a few trying to make their way in. Now Sly DD gonna try and see whether or not he can catch uh, um, some of the better vision onto some of these other uh, teams here. But now it looks like Gang FTY is sparring at long range with the team members from Uzi.co. But now Sipok Choi here, actually very close to Revo as uh, looks like Quick here. Gonna pop in here and looks like Sipok Choi gonna surprise him out there. But Sipok Choi won't be able to do much more than that. Ruin comes in here and they get a little bit of a trade there. But Awful Squad going out in 20th position there after losing a few of their players in rotation a little bit earlier. Um, but now it looks like John C. Nobody and the rest of uh, his squad are currently trying to push up onto the position here on top of the hill. They do have the four full team members from Silver Wolf, so they're going to have to play this one a little bit closer to the chest. Now, there is going to be an awkward position that all these teams are going to be making their way over here. Looks like Meow getting caught in rotation by vampires here, and Revo going to be able to claim their second kill of the game. Now, looks like, uh, oh, they're getting some players all trying to rotate through here. Minon Kopi Jap is eliminated here. After getting second position in that very first game here, it looks a little bit unfortunate that it should end like this here for them. And uh, now looking at things all the way here on the western side, after taking the boat ride from miles away, is going to be the team members of Teaming Queen as well. So they're going to still be alive here. We have uh, a few in North Georgia at the moment, Resurgence together with Lousy right now. And uh, looks like there's going to just be a long-range standoff between these buildings here. These teams are not going to be forced to move just yet. And uh, they're going to wait and see where the circle is going to develop here before they decide to actually um, make any further moves. But yes, it will be looking very much like um, the rest of the, the the teams here are just trying to maneuver away. But uh, it, it might get a little bit tense here as we see that uh, Uzi.co here might actually run into the, the team members of uh, Revo over here. While we do have one of the players here from Samsung. Actually, Samsung reduced down to one player after getting the chicken dinner last round. Looks as though that they're in for uh, some... Uh, not not going to be able to get this, the performance here. And it looks like Rix is getting caught out there by Luvius here. And uh, now it looks like there's going to be further uh, reinforcements coming in here. Um, now, they do pretty much have dominance over this uh, particular apartment complex here. But now Revo moving inside. We do actually have the team members from Silver Wolves putting on pressure onto Team Crayon now this time. But it looks like Gang FTY very close to the team members of BAE as well as Puggy Mom. Now, looks like you Unsteady's here. Going to be the last player to move in here and the only player for 20, Squad 23. And, uh, oh, this weather missionary here is going to spot out... Um, 
Samsung's last player here, currently running up the hill just in front of him. Um, not sure whether or not he can actually catch catch him out a little bit. Maybe just holding his fire because he's not sure whether or not he's got a bunch of friends or not. But looks like Unsteady is opening up a little bit here. And that's going to be a little bit regretful as he's taking a lot of hits. But now it looks like um, Kaki Langar and uh, Baduk here are going to try and put some shots. This time they managed to confirm the kill. On to give Alpha now leaving only Cerebic's girl alone here. So she's going to just try and bug out a little bit more here. But looks like uh, Missionary not able to spot out the player from Crack Jr. here. And uh, wow, looks as though that KMF1 also gets eliminated here. So, kill by SM Kaf here. Going to be able to get both of those kills there. So, a little bit unfortunate for Crack Jr. They're not able to come out with it. But now it looks like uh, Revo here engaging at full length here with the team members from Silver Wolf. And looks like Ruin here going, going down. So is uh, Sly DD. But there will be... Uh, Further movements coming out from here, but from the the looks of it, there's um, no rest coming out just yet from Revo as they are trying to just get off the smoke first. But they still have the, gonna have the full four man squad from Silver Wolf that they have to contend with. That's uh, currently the, oh looks like uh, Vampire is able to get that not onto Pashao there with the the nice uh, Graza kill or Graza knockdown there, R buying some time for Ruin to be rest here, and now it looks like. The other players here will be, um, oh, rotating towards the circle. It's gone all the way towards the western side. All these teams are going to be in big trouble here after they have to all try and maneuver their way as best as possible. Um, but now it looks like uh, Revo here going to try and press the issue here as they uh, try and get through the zone here. Now they don't have the time to wait around as um, the, the, they have to start pushing these team members from uh, Silver Wolves, otherwise they're really not going to get inside the zone. But currently they only have two players left to take down here. As uh, currently Giraffe's taking a lot of damage here. They're going to be uh, left inside the tower for the time being here while they try and see what kind of shot that they can get. Uh, but it looks like Malunok here going to try to open up with the barrel here and he is able to take down Rewin here. Um, but now it looks like Giraffe's fully healed, will be advancing here and looks like uh, Kawaxi here is going to be the last player, but is able to surprise Giraffes here. And uh, he's going to go back inside the compound for the time being here and see whether or not that he can catch out where the last player here, Vampires, is going to be. But Vampire is slowly taking his time here. He knows know that he's inside the, the building here, so the longer that he can take. And with those smokes covering his... Uh, Footsteps to a certain extent here. That's going to help. But, oh, looks like Vampires doesn't actually see where he is. And he's going to only be seeing um, one of the other players. But, ooh, Malinok going to try and jostle between the doorway and that um, window for the time being. And now looks like Malinok going to try and just see whether he can get a nice nade onto Vampires here. And, wow, forced to move a little bit here. But uh, even, even though getting off the heal, he was actually... Taking a little bit of damage there and it only took one bullet to finish him off. But now it looks like things are getting crowded here. We see that Team Crayon here advancing onto the southern or the, rather the central region here. Which currently Gang FTY is trying to advance into Dankirk here. Gonna have to try and see whether or not he can help Mamparang. Mamparang is uh, spinning out a little bit here. Alan's already down. M0 is taken out there from uh, Gang FTY. But there is still going to be the full three players here. And uh, could be a little bit of a difficult proposition here for Gendankirk to try and finish them off by himself. Looks like Mamparang already resorting to sna some snaking here. As we see Uziko here going at it with um, see nobody and uh, and the rest of the team uh, too here. But looks like Zrocker here going to be able to catch him out there. And Josie Nobody also taking out Willy Wagner here. And now there's only going to be one player left here for Uziko here. But the real Ko here, the real Loco able to finish him off there. And looks like that is going to be it for him. Now, elsewhere we will be seeing that... Oh, Dankirk here is going to be able to catch out one here. Uh, a little bit unexpected there. And now looks like Asi Rum here and Insane Floyd going to be the last players left here. Flail Flux going to finish off Resurgence here. Get it claiming two kills in that exchange. But now it looks like Batman and the rest of BA are out for blood here. After they're still holding on to their position. In the northern side, but now Asiram here taking a lot of damage here. But Dankirk also from that big nade that exploded right next to his face. I'm surprised that he still has it on. But now looking at how um, we have uh, Insane Floyd advancing onto this position. Wow! 
Zankery able to get a nice headshot onto him. Now looks like Asiram gonna have to try and uh, finish off Denkirk if he can. Uh, currently Denkirk last player for Gang FTY after Mampang getting caught out by Shah Z. So now looks like Asiram going all the way around the side here and... Ooh. Luckily, Dankirk was not too close to the vehicle there, otherwise he'd be in a little bit of trouble, but he's moved all the way around towards the right side there, and um, Dankirk gets a little bit of help from Esco Rex, but only for Esco Rex to, to finish him off there from the high ground, so uh, thanks but no thanks kind of situation there. It uh, looks like BAE is starting to dominate this northern side here, they're going to work on to the Puggy Mom guys, and... Now looks like they're just trying to find out uh, where any of these other players are. Currently, Batman leading the way with two kills. Now, we will be seeing that Esco Rex and the rest of uh, Badux and Kaki Lunga are currently trying to pick off the team members from Golden Army Factory at long range here. They're trying to come down from the high ground for the time being, but so far not being too successful. And Nine Holy able to uh, dodge some shots there as he tries to get in. But now it looks like uh, Twitch TM4 here putting up some of those long range shots onto Demon Eater and he's going to be able to finish him off. So 4 kills for uh, BAE so far. Uh, they're looking to have uh, quite a, a decent round here. As uh, now there's no teams in the center circle. There's just not much in the way of cover here guys. So that's going to be a little bit of a... Difficult proposition should the circle decide to actually move a little bit more central. But now... It looks like all these teams are just trying to spot and posture these other enemy squads that they are able to spot out so far here into the later stages of the game as now um, there's only another minute before um, phase number six actually deploys here and Batman getting a nice long range kill but it looks like it's a shooting gallery here as uh, Cleo Fox and the rest of Badux Kakilang are just trying to get a little bit out of the way here and try and return some fire from Shazi and the rest. But uh, now Batman just trying to see whether or not he can get a view onto these other team members from uh, Teaming Queen who are currently just inside the zone only here. So they could actually do it a little bit more breathing room, but that's not going to be too forthcoming from these players from Battle Arena Elites. Now, we still have one solo player here uh, killed by SMF. SM Kaf here after he was able to eliminate two the last two Kaf Jr. players here trying to get inside the zone as a lot of teams really had to make a, a long way over from the eastern side over here just to get where they are now but it looks like there's still going to be the four men squad here from uh, John C's everybody at the moment and they're just going to buy their time wait for the circle here most teams usually don't want to make any moves here until the next zone has revealed itself uh, does it Eliminate a lot of the possibilities in terms of potentially wasting a lot of time engaging together with uh, some of these other teams um, Whereas they could be trying to get inside the zone, but looks like the circle is gone a little bit more central. So looks like uh, Bedux Kaki Lang are here going to benefit a little bit from that as uh, Currently imagine and the rest are moving in but just to give an idea on the terrain here They do have a little bit of a ridge line uh, for this little field that currently the circle is set over so there are going to be some banks that these teams can actually maneuver themselves. But it looks like Batman getting caught out here by John C. Nobody. And now it looks like these teams are all going to have to be forced to move in. We see the team members from Teaming Queen here are going to have to move through. They at least have a lot of trees there at their disposal. BAE actually has uh, very few by comparison. But now with all the, the terrain cover that is available to... Badux Kake Langa here, they could be in a decent position to try and fend off further advancement. But now it looks as though that they're trying to put some hurt onto Imagine and the rest of uh, Golden Army Factory across the way. And also onto John C's Everybody, who are ooh, currently knocked down Twitch TM4 as well. So getting some nice long range shots. Looks like LWS here trying to run inside himself and. Uh, Facing a little bit of issues there. Smokes are being deployed by John C's everybody here. After they're trying to advance onto this position. But now, looks like Team Mean Queen here taking some pressure here from Shazi and the rest of Golden Army Factory. 
looks like Chansey going to try and get some, land some shots onto Dreams. Dreams currently uh, still able to hang out for the time being, but looks like Dreams able to land a nice shot here. Now, Dreams was the kill leader from the PUBG Malaysia Singapore Championship Qualifiers number three that happened last weekend, leading the way there for his team, much more gaming. So now he is looking to do some of that carrying over here while they try and advance onto this position. Now, looks like as though that Nine Holy taking a lot of hits this time from Chloe and um, I'm Cold Blood is pretty close here. So it should be in a decent position. But now looking at this long range shooting, all four players here from um, Badooks is currently just going at BAE and uh, also the players from uh, John C's everybody as well. Afam is going to be res here, but looks like imagine coming up big here for his team there uh, together with Shazi after they were able to stop that push coming in from teaming Queen. So Golden Army Factory move onwards and forwards here. But now it looks like uh, there might be a little bit of a sneak attack here if uh, not too careful as this kill by SM Cuff here who's uh, just trying to hang out for the time being but now it's Rocco here gonna be in a bit of trouble as Esco Rex gonna finish him off and now we are down to four teams going to be BAE trying to dodge a lot of these long range shots from both the team members of Kake Langar and uh, Golden Army Factory for the time being so Afam should be res here 13 kills in the bag for uh, Kake Langer at the moment here so nice play from them and but they still have a, a little problem in the back there if they happen to notice it but looks like Imagine and the the rest of the his team are laying sight onto BAE for the time being now the circle is going to be relatively central here now uh, it's not going to be too much distance for BAE but thing is uh, they're very much in view of both of these teams for the time being so they are currently trying to get Sophia up for the time being here Badman just going to try and move a little bit closer to see whether or not he can spot out some of these players. And uh, he's going to try and uh, toss the nade for the time being and see whether or not he's able to catch out. Imagine. And the nade is good there. Badman able to take him down. And he's going to try and get a little bit more of a flank here. See whether he can catch out the other players from Golden Army. Um, but it looks like the vehicle has moved in. And uh, oh, Badman able to catch out Esco Rex as well. Now it looks like Fleoflux trying to return a little bit of fire here and put the pressure onto him, but uh, Fleoflux uh, ooh, just dodges uh, a bullet there for a second. And now it looks like Batman going to try and just blow up the vehicle here for the time being and see whether or not he can pick off Esco Rex just from the vehicle explosion. But currently he's just hanging out with it. Uh, looks like Blade here trying to move a little bit further onto this left side here. But everyone is lying prone just a little bit here. So not able to spot out any of these other guys just yet. But looks like Afam is going to try and land some of these other shots here. And... Um, uh, just not able to see too many of the players for the time being. But it looks like Fleoflux able to knock down Sophia again here. And uh, vehicles blowing up left, right and center. But now Blade able to spot out Shazi here. But it looks like Nine Holy will get him out in turn. Uh, but ooh, nice nade from Fleoflux as he's able to take out the whole of uh, BAE after they all go down in one fell swoop. Now there's only going to be left with uh, Imagine or Nine Holy here as now they are all advancing onto this position. Currently, up I'm going to spot out and looks like Nine Holy goes down there. So a wonderful nade from the Fleoflux there right at the end to finish off all three players there from BAE as uh, we see Badooks and Kaki Langar take home the chicken dinner. Fleo Flux leading the way with 8 kills and uh, Afam cl following closely behind him with 6. Esco Rex with 4 and Blade with 2. So a really nice game coming out from them after they were actually in the fields for a little bit there. But they did manage to utilize the, the ground very effectively there. Preventing a lot of these teams from actually trying to get inside. After those other teams were forced to pretty much come into the center there and um, really didn't have a lot of cover available to them. But after having a foothold, it was pretty much going to be Bedouks and Kakilangar's day there after they were able to survive there. In second place, we have Golden Army Factory and we did see that awesome play there from Imagine and Shazi after they were able to put, withstand the, the push there coming in from the whole of Teaming Queen all coming in at the same time. So... Um, they were able to hang out there for quite a bit themselves there, but they were a little bit sandwiched there by the full four players who were, or three players who were standing up there for uh, 
Benox Kaki Langer and the third place is going to be BAE getting their highest finish for the evening here after they all got taken out there right at the end by one nade from Fleoflux there so a little bit unfortunate from them but they did well to get third place here in round number three and um, in fourth place we did see that SM uh, Kuff was able to stay alive here also right into the end for uh, for his team something but uh yeah he was uh picked off after he started opening fire onto the players and um couldn't really live in the shadow of uh Badooks Kakilanger for all that long and in fifth place is going to be John sees everybody here after they were able to try and go toe-to-toe -to -toe with these teams but there was a little bit too much of crossfire with BAE as well as uh, Badooks Kakilanger so it's always going to be a difficult proposition so that's it for round number three, guys. So when we return, we're going to be having our final round for the evening on Miramar. So thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in just a little bit here.